Yes, it's a virtual private world. Users can access personalized choice while staying in public space without the fear of being eavesdropped or tracked. Let us understand the idea behind the concept in easy detail. Here, few gentlemen are locked into public access point and busy with their respective work. Public networks are not often secure and do not have standard encryption tools. All are connected to respective server in the internet cloud to the ISP network. Any interested party with evil plans can peek into the individual network transactions using array of available eavesdropping and sniffing tools. It can sniff into video intercepts and important financial transactions. The internet is a collection of servers and they talk to each other, thereby sharing your data while they let you surf the web. Going online is almost like taking a commercial airline flight. The ticket agent, baggage handlers, security personnel and flight attendants all need pieces of data to get you on board and route between cities. A similar exchange of information happens on the web. Putting it simply, one is at the mercy of government surveillance or smart hackers looking for their bait. Let us see how the magic of VPN works. The same gentlemen are now routed through a VPN server. It changes the way users are connected to the internet. Here the users are no more directly logged into the internet. They all have to use a VPN client software to log in. This now encrypts the data packets from your system even before the ISP server gets it. The data then goes into the VPN server hosted by the VPN service provider. The VPN server now hides your identity by replacing the source IP from your to its own. The request is routed to the destination server by the VPN server on your behalf. The data, which is totally encrypted now, travels in the public domain completely hidden from other existing users on the web. It is like traveling inside a protective tunnel invisible to the outer world. This protects the user from getting its data leaked onto active sniffing tools, thus keeps the user interest safe. VPN keeps the hackers at bay. VPN networks are not real as internet. It exists virtually. It uses the same internet by sneaking into the public internet network through highly encrypted tunnels, thus completely invisible and insulated from normal internet traffic. Let me highlight few of the features of the VPN networks. Firstly, the destination server which the user wants to access sees the incoming request from the VPN server and not the actual user. Thus the identity of the actual user is known only to the VPN service provider and none else. Secondly, the data that travels to and forth is highly secure and encrypted masking the actual raw data. The logs are thus known to only the VPN service provider. User's identity is thus completely safe and remains private. A VPN connection requires a VPN server and a VPN client. The server is a gatekeeper at one end of the tunnel and the client at the other end. The main difference between the server and the client is that it is a client that initiates a connection with the server. A VPN client can establish a connection with just one server at a time. However, a server can accept connections from many clients. A pre-shared key is configured in the server which encrypts the data sent over the internet. The client must provide the same PSK to log into the VPN. A VPN client is usually a software that runs on a client computer. The VPN client software must be configured with the IP address of the VPN server as well as authentication parameters like username and the pre-shared key that will be used to encrypt the data. Once the secure tunnel is established, VPN server acts as an interface between the user and the rest of the world. I am sure by now we have understood the purpose of VPN. Let us understand it further in terms of types and protocols used in VPN. There are basically two types of VPN services. 
remote access VPN and side-to-side -side VPN. Let us discuss it little further. The most common is remote access VPN. This is useful for business, home users and corporate people. There are two components in remote access VPN. The first is network access server NAS at the VPN end. The second is the VPN client software at the user end. User connects to NAS using the valid login credentials to sign into the VPN. The client software on successful authentication establishes a tunnel connection to NAS. The client software also encrypts the data being exchanged between NAS and the client. Employees can log into the private office network using remote access VPN while home or business users could use the services to access blocked sites or bypass the regional governmental restrictions as prevalent in the area they live. To site VPN allows offices in multiple locations to establish secure connections with each other over internet. Site to site VPN extends the company's network making server resources from different locations accessible among offices. Consider an example of a warehousing company having its branches at different locations with common storage system. Two types of site-to-site -site VPN exist, intranet and extranet based. Intranet based VPN connects offices at different locations of one large company within one single private network. Here each separate LAN is connected to a single WAN. Extranet based VPN connects an organization to other associated companies. The extranet VPN allows the companies to work together in a protective environment that share but prevents access to their separate individual intranets. VPN protocols define the management of data transmission over the VPN network. Here we are going to know in brief the various protocols involved in the transmission of data over the VPN network. The first and the oldest in the list is PPTP point-to-point Terralink protocol developed by Microsoft. It is part of the Windows operating system and easy to configure. It uses a control channel over TCP and generic routing encapsulation tunnel to encapsulate triple P packets. It does not describe encryption and authentication and relies completely on Triple P being tunneled to implement security functionality. In short, it's barely secure. Honestly, we should avoid VPN setup relying only on PPTP. L2TP IPsec or Layer 2 Tunneling Protocol with IP security is more secure than PPTP alone. It uses a combination of PPTP and Cisco developed L2F protocol. The entire L2TP packet is sent within UDP and keys are used to ensure a connection on each end of the tunnel. L2TP does not provide any encryption or confidentiality by itself. Therefore, IPsec is used to secure the L2TP packets to give secrecy, authentication and integrity. It's still not the best option available yet. SSTP or Secure Socket Tunneling Protocol is much better and more secure VPN service. It's another product from Microsoft. The connection is established with SSL 3.0 encryption. SSL provides transport level security with key negotiation, encryption and traffic integrity checking. SSTP passes through almost all firewalls and proxy servers, thereby eliminating port blocking issues by firewall or NAT in PPTP or L2TP versions. It's a good choice for the user. IKE v2 or Internet Key Exchange version 2 is jointly developed by Microsoft and Cisco which is a much improved and faster version over previous VPN types. It's based on combination of iterations of earlier versions. It's a request and response encryption protocol which is very stable 
very secure and faster too. It uses UDP port 500. It is the only VPN protocol supported by BlackBerry. OpenVPN takes the best of all other protocols and removes the flaws thereby becoming one of the most versatile and stable VPN option. Since its open source project, it is being improved constantly by hundreds of intelligent developers across the globe. It uses SSL encryption. It secures a connection by using keys known to only the source and the destination at the either end of the tunnel. It is also capable of going past network address translators and firewalls. The only disadvantage is that it requires a third-party software. Still, it's a highly recommended option. I hope that this video from Teleju Consulting helped improving your understanding on VPN and its concept. I would appreciate if you can spare few seconds to comment on it as well. Feedback is critical for improvement in future. If you had liked it, please do not forget to subscribe and like it. Thank you and God.